everyone, welcome back to another speed paint. In this video I'm actually drawing Diva from the video game Overwatch. And while I don't actually own Overwatch, because it doesn't work on my computer, the characters, the stories and the general aesthetic and design of this game really inspires me. The reason I don't own Overwatch is because it doesn't actually work on my computer which made me very sad at the time when it was first coming out. I really wanted to play it and I still really want to play it now so maybe in future they will bring it out to my platform. I'm really hoping so. So I designed this print quite a few days ago. I thumbnailed it out in my sketchbook and then sketched it out in my Dayla and Brownie mixed media <laughs> sketchbook. And I was making it specifically specifically to be a print for MCM Comic Con in London. But as I was drawing it, I actually found that it's Overwatch's first one year anniversary, which was really exciting. So I thought, all the more reason to do a picture. Because <laughs> it's quite exciting that this game has been out for a year now. It actually feels like it's been out for a lot longer. So onto the actual drawing, I decided to draw Diva and I do really like Diva. There's a lot I like about her character and everything but the reason I chose her was because I really wanted to draw her mech and because I've been drawing a lot of fan art lately I decided to really push myself like I did in the Zelda piece. I decided to try new things in that picture so I decided I'd carry on and try and push myself even further so I decided to do do a really detailed background and include the mech because that's quite an important part of her I think like that's kind of like a lot of her character but yes the reason I chose to draw this particular scene is because I wanted to if I was making this a, a, a print to sell I wanted it to be more than just a character standing around on a blank background I wanted to do more than that and make this really special because I think if I'm going to draw fan art I want to really, really push myself out of what I'm comfortable of doing and boy was I very uncomfortable doing this piece. The inking I really enjoyed, like I really loved doing all the leaves, which again that was a new thing for me, drawing lots of foliage like that. I was actually a bit, a bit frightened because I thought I'd go too over detailed or not enough detailed but I think I got a really nice in between. And again, drawing mechs and robotics. I used to do that quite a lot when I was younger, but not so much now. And I've really lost the habit of being able to draw mechanical objects. But I feel Diva's mech was actually really, really enjoyable to draw. It's like, it's kind of more organic in shape. Like the Guardians from The Legend of Zelda. They're very organic mechanical machines. And I really, en I want to say enjoy again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep using that word, but yes, I really enjoy organic robots and mechanical objects. They are easier to draw for me, but I would like to try and draw more uh, non-organic stuff like buildings, more mechanical objects, obviously, and uh, just generally push myself more and more to try new things and draw new things. So this piece does actually have a little bit of symbolism in it. I don't really go for symbolism in my pictures unless I'm really trying hard with like <laughs> my original drawings. Like I'll put more symbolism in those drawings but even then I don't make a habit of it. I remember in college they used to make you really think about what your drawing meant and I used to just write whatever came into my head so I don't really do that too often but with this picture I kind of have like a, an idea behind why her mech is in like the forest and why there's like fruit those berries growing out of it and I kind of had this idea that like Diva's mech has kind of brought her opportunity to work in the Overwatch found organisation and while I'm really not too up to date on all the lore and everything, I have like a general understanding of what she did and what the characters have been through. And what was this is that the mech has brought her opportunities and it kind of goes along with the saying, the fruits of your labour, you know, like if you work hard, you, you get something from it. I think that's how this, what the saying means, I might be totally wrong. But yeah, it kind of means like the fruits of her labours. So 
the neck is bearing fruit in a in a weird way and it's um kind of like a peaceful scene like she's in this really nice lush foresty environment it might even be tropical so that was kind of like my general idea and that she's in casual clothing so she's not battling anyone she's not fighting or stress she's just kind of having this nice relaxed moment where she can kind of see the efforts of her fighting and her work and everything so that was my idea it might be really weird and sappy but I just kind of I liked it and I wanted to try and get that calm friendly feel if that makes sense <laughs> now that I'm watching back over it I actually want to do like a companion piece with Bastion because Bastion is always uh, associated with like green and everything you know he was like if you've watched the Overwatch short The Last Bastion he's like almost like a Disney princess <laughs> in a way and I kind of want to do like a companion piece I feel like it would be quite nice and again I could I have an excuse to do more background work and more foliage and leafy organic backgrounds I actually I've actually drawn Bastion quite a few times I really like his design <laughs> but yes here are the finished inks and I always make this mistake of not scanning in my line art before I actually paint so if I look up the painting that's it I'm done for and I can really say I was cringing the whole time I was painting this, like, I feel, felt like the whole time it just wasn't working out. I was really excited to do the pink of the mech, like, because Diva's mech is just so bright pink. I love it so much. <laughs> and I had, like, the perfect colour, which is my gouache, the rose pink, and it came out really nice. And I was mixing a lot of blues in there to try and get, like, a reflectiveness. But I was really cringing when I when I had to like pick the colour scheme because I wanted the bright pink but I also wanted the dark greenery and everything, like a yellowy green and I just thought that's not gonna look well. I even like did colour palettes in my sketchbook and I'm just like, oh no, this is not working. <laughs> I just really didn't like how the green and pink was looking together, but I decided to persevere with it. And even though I really struggled, I feel like in the end it did look good. It does look good in the end, but getting there was very difficult. It's like they say, you have like an ugly stage of painting. You go through like a really bad stage where it all looks really terrible. <laughs> and that's how I felt for most of the pieces, that it looked... Um, that it just wasn't meshing well together. What I really wanted to do was I wanted to make this her mech look really reflective and I knew I should have put green on the mech but when I tried it in the colour palettes in my sketchbook I just really hated the way it looked. So realistically if this was a more realistic drawing sh the mech would have green reflections in it from the plants because if it's metal obviously it's going to reflect the colours around it but I decided not to do it simply because it just it, it would have ruined the drawing I feel I think it would have really ruined it but yeah I actually have no grey in my watercolour set so this grey I'm using was one I mixed using uh, pink blue and brown and I really like the colour that came out I have to remember how I mixed that colour because that came out really nice looking <laughs> So I think I've shared most of my thoughts about this piece. For the most part it's just me continuously painting from now on and I was still feeling very cringy all the time I'm doing it, feeling like I'm... With every brush stroke I felt like I was making the drawing worse so that was, a f that was fun. <laughs> but a lot of it I did enjoy and a lot of it I just was very scared because with fin like with with me trying to do more finished drawings, there's always this fear of like messing it up or not liking where it's going or just even having like an accident like spilling my water on the paper like <laughs> there's so many things that make me frightened of doing these kind of pieces. 
So I think I will put some music on for the rest of the video because I've I've kind of talked as much as I can <laughs> and there's still a lot of the video left so I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and I will share my final thoughts at the end.
here we are, here is the final piece, and I have to say, I am really pleased with it. Uh, again, I really struggled, as I did with my Zelda piece, I do really struggle with these more finished final pieces, they're a lot harder for me to uh, concentrate on and keep focused, and I do find them very difficult, but I do really want to push myself as well, and carry on making more final finished pieces. I am starting to feel a bit like a broken record when I say that I've struggled with a piece. <laughs> I tend to say that a lot, and I tend to say the same things over and over again, so I hope that's not off-putting when you watch my videos. Again, I tried to improve the editing and just overall make my YouTube videos more professional, and I hope that it does look nice. And I hope you enjoyed the video too. I had, a, I did have a lot of fun making it. I do enjoy making YouTube videos, especially now that I have my new setup, it's a lot easier for me to do. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.